We're joined now at the table by veteran, veteran journalist Claire Shipman. She and Caddy Kay are out with a new book entitled The Power Code, More Joy, Less Ego, Maximum Impact for Women and Everyone. And I want to back into this because there is actually a connection here. Um, the, the, the theme of the book we'll get to in a moment, but you have some incredible findings, and I'm jumping down to number three. Power seems to corrupt men more than women. You found that researchers discovered this. Why? Yeah, you know that phrase, power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely. Well, actually, in the hands of women, that may not be true. Women who rise to the top of their organizations manage to retain their empathy and their connection for people below them. Women in leadership, up to 80% less likely to be charged with corruption than men in leadership. So the more women we give power to, perhaps the less corruption we have around. And the overall point of the, uh, the book, Claire, which I love, is about sort of redefining power. Um, give us a sense of the theme here. Well, essentially what we found is that men and women view power quite differently. Men uh, tend to view power as a power over, right? A hierarchical, more ego-filled. And this has been a term sociologists have used for a long time, but largely men. When we started looking at the new research into power conducted by many female academics, mm -hmm. we saw that women think of power as power too. There's a why implicit in the way we think about power. It's like, why do we want this? What do we want to get done? And we're arguing that broadening this definition is going to make power a lot more appealing for women and actually a lot healthier. Re redefining it a little bit. So, and other things you found is, and this is interesting because I, it matches a lot of the work I'm doing with Know Your Value. Most women still don't want power, yeah. Caddy? This, okay, so what got us to write this whole book was one, we're not there yet, right? Only 10% mm -hmm. of females, of, of CEOs are women. 27 out of 200 world leaders are women. It's not enough. D so, do you not expect that to change radically? You look at the crisis of young men in America, the fact that I think 60% of graduates now from colleges are women. Isn't I tell my daughter all the time, it's just a matter of time in your time we're going to have real equity, most likely it's, among CEOs and other leaders. You think so, but it's not happening fast mm -hmm. enough. And we've kind of stalled at the top. I mean, those have been the figures really for the last few years, and we've been better educated than men for a while. Which is, you know, we wanted to address this issue of what's happening with power, and then we did found this research from Harvard, which shows that however you kind of look at power, women don't really want it. We find the costs of getting it are too high, and that actually power itself, this this kind of zero sum game nature of power, more for you means less for me. Mm -hmm. The hierarchical dominance nature of power, women just don't find it appealing. So we kind of turned the proposition on its head and said, you don't have to change women. Women are doing everything right. We lead well, we are educated, we have all of the right qualifications. What we need to do is change the way that power works in organizations. And that would be better for everybody. And that gets at one of your other points, Claire, which is that men and women define power completely differently. Men view it as this zero-sum game Caddy's talking about. If Donnie has something, it means I don't have. I need to fight for that. Women just look at it differently, don't they? And that's part of what we found, and to Joe's point, too, that you we would have thought there'd be more women at the top, but women opt out. And what we found mm. as part of the clash, the sort of supply and demand problem is women use it differently. And so we're almost other, you know, we start to reach the upper levels and we don't ever get to the top. Either we're opting out or we're viewed as not enough. And what we're saying actually, a big part of our book is about men because you know, men are kind of stuck in a pretty narrow lane. I was just talking to my son about this last night. You know, there's sort of a sense, even the men we talk to who are doing things differently, trying to stay at home, be the primary caregiver, say, you know, one said to us, I feel like a failure. I failed mm -hmm. at the one thing in life I was mm -hmm. supposed to do, which is be the primary breadwinner. And until mm -hmm. men can be viewed by society as having a, yeah. you know, a broader set of possibilities, it's hard for us to redefine and balance. So men are, are stuck in a box they don't want to be in. Also, um, and finally, Caddy, women will never get power outside of the home until our marriages <laughs> look less like the 1950s. <laughs> um, <laughs> that actually... What are you looking at? Yeah. Yeah. Does, yeah. Anybody, yeah. does anybody here think no I run anything here. in my house? The other oh, great, this is the point. The other great the tip we learned for women, <laughs> let her finish. 
Well, oh. let me finish. A very clear way to say, to redistribute power in a conversation is by saying, let her finish. Jo, I'm sure no one ever says that to you, but if, if Mika wanted to say, let yeah. me finish, that would be a good way to do it. But the thing about the marriages is, is we've, we've done, we're very good at very many things, women. We have not figured out how to put 36 hours into a 24-hour day. No. And until we can have more of the redistribution of the chore giving, the caregiving, the chores, you know, all of the planning of those chores at home, we can't have power outside of the home. We found both men and women, when women earn more than men, which is increasingly the case, a third of couples they have do that more. Situation. They do more at home? Well, not only do they oh. do more at home, that's a given. They both lie about it to the Census Bureau. Yeah. What? Because we are oh, all still, so invested there, yeah. in yeah. kind of mm. the status quo. So we, we say, oh, we want men who are wow. going to do all this. Actually, this is a hard situation for It's hardwired. And I want to talk about something else that's not only hardwired, but also may, may be a physiological difference. Uh, Fran Lebowitz, I, was, I think it, was, it must have been on Scorsese's special. She's talking to a group of young women in college, and they ask, so when will women start being treated just like men? And she said, never. <laughs> she said, first of all, if you could get me some testosterone, put it in a little bottle. She's like, that's rocket fuel. I don't get it, right? So we understand there are some inherent differences that make men dumb and focused on, I need to shoot through that wall, do whatever it takes to win, <laughs> et cetera, et cetera. I will die trying. Women yeah. don't think that way. I'm not saying I've ever thought that way, but, uh. but here's the thing. My question is, what? so what do you tell your daughter? What do you yeah. tell Donnie's daughter? What do you tell Willie's daughter? What do you tell my, my daughter to say, say, listen, they're crazy. They're going to they'll wake up at two in the morning with sweat. They're going to be like chewing through. What's the not work around, but 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 what's the way to compete in the workforce with that and get ahead of that? But it's a it's a balance, right? Because all the data shows that the way women lead works, right? right? Men have the a terrific way of leading, women have a ter terrific way of leading, but until the way we use power is accepted, it's hard for us. And we're saying we women aren't always going to behave in the same way as men. Yeah, one, the problem. one great thing we found, though, is from neuroscience, and there's a lot of science in the book, and a lot of, t a lot of the book is, you know, from data and, and academics and scientists, but we boil it all down into tips. One is that you can actually prime yourself for power. You can make your brain right. feel more powerful. If you just spend 15 minutes before a b your daughter, before a big interview or a job interview or a pay raise negotiation, you spend 15 minutes thinking of a time you were powerful. You spend five minutes with a pen and paper. A pen is important not just a phone, and you write it down. And studies have shown that people who do this have better success in job interviews than people that don't. The impact can last for, you know, but, but for days. I think we would argue, too, that the second part of our subtitle, less ego, is pretty essential for power. And mm -hmm. we, we see all that right now, right? We don't need to say a lot, right? So the sort of less ego, more focus on the why, we think is just something that works for everybody. Well, I, I, so I think women, and I think, Donnie, I've heard you say this before, I think women are better leaders. I just think they're so much think better they're leaders. Period. I, I think they're superior uh, running corporations. I think they're superior in government. So that, that's kind of like, there are a lot of people that are terrible running for president who would be extraordinary presidents. I think we, I think right now that's the dilemma. We have women who would be extraordinary as CEOs but the question is, how do you get from here so to there? Changed, and that's what you you're... change the culture of the organization. And there's not one silver bullet. But what the book lays out is that we can it's p little bits of a puzzle and we can all be part of building that new or new types of organization that v that puts an emphasis on values and connection and and all of the things that women are doing, but actually values them. Mm -hmm. The new book is entitled The Power Code, More Joy less ego, maximum impact for women and everyone. Claire and Caddy, congratulations. Yet another amazing book. Congrats, you, guys. Thank get you. more information. Head over to knowyourvalue.com. Yes. I know. Yes. I love it. Yes. The Power Code.